morning Hello. again. Good morning. How are you guys? Good. We're good. I'm just glad to see your smiling faces. I'm just <laughs> glad to see your smiling face too. wonder was maybe around 2011 Stacy would have been 35 years old and just had her first baby and they lived in Florida so we didn't see them all the time and she would say to us that she felt like uh, when you're having a baby that it takes away some of your brain cells you know she'd heard that and she says I actually kind of feel that way and so we heard her mention that a time or two. And, you know, you just think, well, she's busy. She's got a little baby that she's also managing her public relations business that she ran pretty much herself. One of the major things was we had a new house built um, in the area we live now. And so Stacy had been on a routine in her previous house. So it was almost like second nature. And so that sort of masked uh, some of the issues she was having with memory because if it's a built routine, uh, you can sort of perform that. <laughs> but if you put somebody in a new place with a new place for the store is, a new place for the kids' school, we found very quickly like there's something not adding up here. Even with um, the navigation system in the car, couldn't find her way back home. Organizing things was difficult. Losing things, losing your way. In her neighborhood and um, going to familiar places that she knew even she was starting to get lost there she really struggled with computer related functions that she'd always just done so easily so Stacy was just uh, it more uh, I guess an overseer and in charge of the billing and, and that kind of stuff and uh, we found out that uh, she hadn't billed them for any of her services for several, several months, nearly a year, I, I think, as they had changed the uh, process on how they were reimbursed, and uh, it just kind of went over her head on, you know, how to make the change. And, and so what happened, which you'll hear about commonly with really said Alzheimer's, especially as early as she had shown symptoms, was a lot of misdiagnosis along the way. Like we've talked before that when somebody's so young, they don't really think to do anything more than think it might be anxiety or the fact that you've had a baby or that you're busy or, you know, stressed maybe a little bit. Jim, you think so? Yeah, and they, you know, at one point I think they talked a little bit about sleep apnea maybe being a issue, but, um, mostly wrote it off to uh, being a brand new mom. She had had several other visits to doctors and psychologists and psychiatrists and everyone just wanted to medicate for anxiety. Uh, and then we went back for a couple more visits and that's when we got uh, the diagnosis. They actually called us on their uh, drive back from Jacksonville to, uh, to home. They had kind of talked to us uh, that, um, you know, dementia might be part of that diagnosis beforehand. Um, so, and that was a tough couple of weeks. And yeah. then, uh, then um, you know, they start working on uh, finding somebody, a caregiver to help with the, uh, the kids and getting them uh, to and from school and that kind of stuff. The Mayo Clinic had advised that you know she should, should stop driving, um, which is fine. yeah, which is fine. <laughs> she didn't like that anymore, anyway. no. <laughs> uh, and that you know that we should have a caregiver when the boys were there. Um, she had you know so they advised that she it was quite far along, you know, and that uh, we had to make some drastic changes. 
my daughter and their family, they live close to Disney World. They uh, at one point had annual passes and, and they used it. And now um, they don't go as often because it's, it's my son-in-law and the two little kids and my daughter and he's trying to keep track of all three of them um, you know getting in line if one needs to get out of the line for whatever reason all of them get out of the line to go do and so there it's harder to do those things that you think about as just being normal <laughs> She's cute about it. I have to say she's smiling and happy the whole time. I, I have to go back to Peyton's magic trick. Our, yeah. our granddaughter that's 11, our son's daughter, she wanted to do a magic trick with Aunt Stacy. Card trick. A card trick. And the trick involved pick a card and now remember what card that is and then put it back in the deck. And I have, I have it on video because it's the cutest little... Then she says, you know, does her little magic trick, and then she says, all right, was this your card? And Stacy's reaction was, I don't know. I've, I've got this noggin, she says. <laughs> and we were all chuckling, thinking, you know, isn't it cute that she's not upset about it? She, she laughed and everybody laughed. Yeah. I actually saw a People magazine ad about the walk. And I I know, I was like, wow, this is kind of fun, but it sort of sat there for a minute and on the table, and I kept looking at it thinking, maybe I'm supposed to be doing this. Maybe that's why that magazine is calling my name. And so I said, Jim, do you want to walk with me? And he said, sure. And then Brittany called, and she said, I see you've signed up as single people walkers. How would you feel about being a team captain and getting other people to join you? And so I said, oh, I, I don't know if I could do that. I don't know if I have enough time. And she said, sure you do. Something that Stacy wanted to do. Um, and so uh, us, uh, our caregiver, and her uh, boyfriend and daughter, uh, we went on a walk here in Orlando, Florida, which was awesome. And she had a great time and thought it would be good also with the participation of her friends in the Bay Area to go and you know, experience the walk with her family and friends um, in San Ramon. We actually had several people that came last year that said to us, this was inspirational. We didn't know what to expect. We were just coming along because you said you wanted us to, but I don't think I'll ever miss it. I had a couple of friends that said that and that meant so much. We've reconnected with so many people that we, her high school friends, college friends, our, our co-workers, um, friends from far away, Jim's well, co-workers. You know, we were thinking about putting together a team and we wanted to call it Team Stacy and, and uh, you know, use a couple of her photographs. I think we used a wedding picture mm -hmm. last year on our flyer and then we kind of got busy with um, you know, Facebook, emails, all of those kind of things, trying to uh, just get the word out to, uh, to friends, friends of friends, family, whatnot. And um, Before we knew it, somebody was telling somebody else and, and the phone would ring and Jim would say, wow, that's someone I haven't talked to for probably 15 years. I think you have to be there to appreciate as the flower oh, ceremony. Yeah. Thing with the different colors flowers for you know however the uh, disease has, has touched you or whatever but I mean that ceremony is pretty touching. Mm -hmm. You know we got to get a handle on this or change the trajectory of the disease because it'll, it'll touch so many if you if you can't